Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with the summer transfer move to Arsenal. My last day in Russia today before returning back to England. And uh, of course, England beat them last night 1-0. Um, disappointing performance by England against Belgium. It was a completely changed team. Belgium changed their team as well. And it was Yanazai who scored the goal. There was a guy sitting uh, near me. He was a Sunderland fan. And he was going, listen, Yanazai, when he was at... Um, Sunderland, he couldn't hit a barn door. We ain't got to worry about him. He comes and he scores the absolute worldie. Um, little bit of time. I was also very disappointed that Danny Welbeck only got a little bit of time on the pitch. He did decently in the time he was on, but why didn't he play more minutes as well? Um, but overall, a real anti-climax that game. Really, really disappointing. But the big one's going to be next week when England take on David Ospina's Colombia. So that should be really, really interesting to see how England get on, um, how will Ospina cope with Harry Kane? We'll see what happens in that one. Um, however, the transfer rumours still swirling around as usual. Uh, first of all, addressing a couple of those that we've kind of known they've been around for ages. Socrates, we know, is coming in. Now, this could be announced um, this week. I know I've been saying this for about the past five weeks. Um, but they held over the announcement of this, apparently, until the start of July. Something to do with uh, tax returns and stuff like that of Borussia Dortmund. It looks better if they do it, announce it in July. And it does look like Socrates will be announced um, this week. The worst kept secret in football. Um, he's already done his medical. He's already done everything at Arsenal. Pictures, everything. It's all ready to go. And it should be announced, um, I think, uh, one of the days of next week. And Socrates will come in to strengthen that uh, defence that definitely needed shaping up after last season. The other person is Lucas Torreira. We're being told, you know, you hear so many rumours that he's had a medical already, he hasn't, you know, nobody knows completely. A lot of rumours saying today that um, the medical is going to get tied up over the next week. This one may not get announced until after the World Cup. It's definitely a done deal. As I always say in these cases, just as a little caveat for myself, <laughs> um, last minute things can happen. We uh, And I refer to that Nabil Fakir one the other day at Liverpool where every Liverpool fan thought it was done. Quite rightly so, because he'd had his medical and everything and next minute you know the deal's off. So, But the Torreira one... Hopefully, should get announced after the World Cup. I think they're going to wait and see how far Uruguay go. They don't, of course, want to, you know, come in and be doing medicals and stuff like that and disturb the Uruguay camp. You know, they've got some really important games coming up um, in the World Cup and, you know, hoping to try and win the World Cup as well. So, but Lucas Torreira should be coming in after the World Cup. Now, this is an interesting one. Is the signing of this Swansea player... Um, will that mean that Eva Benega will end up joining Arsenal? And uh, the Swansea player I'm talking about um, goes by the name of uh, Roque Mesa. On Wednesday, he joined Sevilla. Now, um, they confirmed it, that he signed on from Swansea. And um, a lot of people are looking at this and saying, well, he is Eva Benega's replacement. Plays in the same sort of position, similar type of player. And a lot of people are looking at this and saying, well, he's been brought in as Benega's uh, replacement should they lose Benega. Sofia's still desperate to hang on to Eva Benega. He's one of their main guys. But we know that Unai Emery is very interested in bringing in Eva Benega to Arsenal. And we saw him in the World Cup the other day, that great assist for Messi's goal. The way he controlled the middle of the park, it's just the sort of player we've been missing. We've been missing that type of player since Santi Cazola left, or should I say since Santi Cazola got injured. And there's no sort of, um, you know, coincidence that Santi Cazola's injury coincided with some of the worst periods of our football at Arsenal because we just didn't have that control in the middle of the park, that guy who could dictate play. You know, Ozil's not that type of player. He's more of a sort of attacking midfielder. And the other guys that we had there, they just not as good on the ball as a Cazola. Ever Benega is in that same bracket as a Cazola and that he knows how to manipulate the ball. 
He's brilliant at passing. He's creative to the extreme and he can play that from a deep lying position. And I think Unai Emery would love to get him in at Arsenal. And he's got uh, apparently a £17 million release clause, which again, is not too expensive. He does have age going against him, as we know, but this would be a great signing if Arsenal could pull it off. And is it now starting to look that this could possibly happen? As I said, with the signing of Rocky Mesa from Swansea, let's keep an eye on this one. It's going to be really, really interesting. Arsenal linked today with another World Cup player, World Cup star, is the Mexican Hector Torreira. Hector Herrera, sorry. Sorry. Um, he plays for Porto, 28 and he's uh, valued at around about 50, sorry, about 15 million pounds. He's had an excellent World Cup. Um, Mexico have had an excellent World Cup, and he's had an excellent World Cup. And there's quite a lot of clubs looking at him in the Premier League, and Arsenal is said to be one of them. Um, again, a, a very good uh, midfielder. Unai Emery looking to sort of uh, strengthen up that midfield area, and Hector Herrera is another player that he's identified that could do a job in that area. Uh, what about Alexander Golovin? of Russia, um, the real sort of poster boy for Russian football over here, uh, plays for CSKA Moscow, valued at around about £22 million, has been a very impressive in the World Cup, free kick specialist. Um, we're being told today that Chelsea have come in and look, it's looking likely that Chelsea might get their man. Now, Arsenal were very interested in Golovin. There was then um, big interest that came from Juventus, Juventus... Um, Apparently bid for Golovin, um, but that bid was turned down. Well, we're hearing today that Chelsea have come in and Chelsea are quite confident that they're going to get their man and that they will get Golovin. And um, I'd be a bit disappointed if Arsenal miss out on this guy. It looks like we are going to. It looks like uh, he's not our priority no more. But I like him. He's a very, very good player. And again, the sort of player that I think would be quite exciting in the Premier League. But it's starting to look like he's going to end up at Chelsea. And talking of Chelsea, an ex-Chelsea player, and Arsenal have apparently um, shown a lot of interest in this guy. Again, another guy at the World Cup. We'll get to see him on Tuesday against England, and that is Juan Cuadrado of Juventus. Um, now 30, so he's knocking on a bit. Um, but remember, he was at Chelsea, and he was a real flop at Chelsea. He didn't do well at all, but that doesn't always mean anything, because, you know, De Bruyne flopped at Chelsea, and look what he's doing now, you know. Um, Lukaku. And look what he's doing now, you know. So, listen, you can't always judge it off of that. He's gone to Juve and he's done bits over there. He's been a really, really good player for Juventus. And he's been a really, really important player um, in the World Cup for Colombia. One of their star players, as a matter of fact. And apparently, uh, a lot of the rumours coming out of Italy is that Arsenal made an approach to Juventus about the, um, the availability of Juan Cuadrado. This, however, has been knocked back. Juventus do not want to sell Cuadrado. They really rate him over there. But Arsenal, as we know, they're in a chase for a winger. And they've identified Cuadrado. He's a good player. He's quick. He's very, very skillful. And, you know, a guy that's failed at Chelsea before in the Premier League, if he did come, he'd be really eager to impress. But as I said, it does look like Arsenal won't get their man in this case because uh, Juventus are uh, saying to Arsenal, no, sorry, not available. We are not prepared to sell Juan Cuadrado. But Arsenal apparently did make an approach to Juventus for his signature. Now, a player yesterday that played in the World Cup that I thought, yeah, yeah, man. Love to have him at Arsenal. And I always say that it has to be a player that really is realistic. And you might say that this is unrealistic, but it shouldn't be unrealistic, this player. And that's Koulibaly of Senegal, the defender. To me, a top-notch defender who would suit Arsenal absolutely down to the ground. World-class defender. He showed it again in the World Cup. He's been really good. He's been solid for Napoli. He's an excellent player. He's just what Arsenal needs. Um, in that defensive area. The only problem would be is, of course, Napoli would de demand a really, really high fee. I was discussing it yesterday with somebody at the game uh, who's an Arsenal fan, and we was both saying that, listen, Napoli, you're going to want about £70 million because, you know, after Van Dijk went to Liverpool for 75 Napoli are going to look at that and they're going to say, listen, he's in the same bracket. We want that same sort of money. But listen, if you want to win leagues, you need the best defences. 
And for me, he's possibly in that bracket. I'm not saying he is, but he's in that bracket as one of the best centre-backs in the world. And if we want to win things, that's the type of player we should be going for. So for me, that player that I would have gone for from yesterday's games, that if I had a chance of picking one player, would be Koulibaly of Senegal. What do you guys think? Would he suit Arsenal? Let me know. Thanks for watching today. Tomorrow we should be back in the studio, um, coming back to England before coming back to Russia next week for the next England game. Thanks for watching the show and we'll be back tomorrow.